This is Matt Strona, and I'm with Jesse, Jack, and Phobos with Beyond Mord Gamers, and we're playing Velvet Sundown. Jesse, could you tell us a little bit more about Velvet Sundown? Um, so Velvet Sundown is a uh, clue-style murder mystery type game um, released by uh, Tribal Studio or Tribe Studios. Um, came out on Steam uh, summer of last year in July, um, and we're going to play a little bit of it tonight. Here we go. Nice oh, nice that, that was perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sort of the biggest with problem have... with this is getting into a match a lot of times takes a while. Yeah, um, it hasn't become super popular yet, despite being free, and so sometimes it can take a while for a game to fill up. Yeah. Ah, yes, speaking of that, it is free and available on Steam. I know when um, there were more people playing it that it had a lot of problems with its... Uh, text-to-speech type stuff, because it's all being hit to one server, so they ended up removing text-to-speech if you were a free user and only giving it to premium users, uh, and they eventually ended up changing it back so you could do the text-to-speech without being a premium. So as someone who knows absolutely nothing about this game, what is this game about? Well, you're about to find about out. Legs. Skirt, Hello. apparently. My... Mm -hmm. Hello, <laughs> it has a strong focus friend. on legs, this game. It does. She looks nice. Dumb. I'm a Hello. stunningly I'm not your friend. Friend. And you know it. Well, you, you can read this. Sure. Oh. I, I can't. Well, that's bad. I missed it. Start it's over. So, <laughs> so it we start out as spin up around, so, so apparently this is one of those yes. start at the bottom yes. and work your way up games. I'm not your but friend, we're buddy. beautiful. They, they say we're pretty beautiful. Whoa. Like, we know that. So we're not gonna this, be one of the is... paparazzi hiding in trash cans? They already look like they're talking. It's getting in the mix. I will join in this. This is sad. Well, no, it's a I'm joke, friend. Hello. Oh. Well, this is interesting. You already started cool. arguing. So. <laughs> it's a joke from something. You kept your eye on Mary. Did I trust you? Yes. That thing Mar said. We stole her thong. Good. Wait. The expensive, what? The expensive oh. thong with sapphires. Oh, You're not a real detective, uh, she... are you? Thanks, okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> you put on your ninja gear and stole Mary's thong. The expensive one with the sapphire. But she no was problem. alarmed and came after you, running so fast. And the stamina. Finally, you had to dump it in the sea before she relented the chase. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable <laughs> plot one. <laughs> she was just fine with it thereafter. Oh. Yep. Uh, once it's in the ocean, she heard about it. Out of sight, out of mind. Well, body. Mary didn't do it. What about hey guys, sunglasses the best inside, Christmas dude? Song I know he looks shady. Christmas. I stole your phone, Mary. Yes, that's Alex. He is the youngest son of an old Russian Aristotle. Wow. Yeah, God. he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to hear any more case closed. God, as in good. <laughs> But I threw it into the sea, so we're cool now, right? <laughs> you know, like, I was thinking Can that was an absurd premise, hair? but for a paparazzi, is it really? That seems like the type of thing you would see in a headline at the <laughs> grocery the store counter. <laughs> no, you rolled it into a bowl and he put an end to your anal cavity. I have a light hair belonging <laughs> uh, to Ingmar or Mary that I found at the crime scene. I think she's still mad about the bomb. <laughs> Seems a little better. Okay. Oh, I'm required to inform you that I registered a sex offender. I just love offensive sex. <laughs> now, one of the clues have to be fake. Whoa. Okay, so he did it. Clearly, Ingmar did it, right? Russian oligarchs, yeah. Well, this is a murder, not what? a. It's not, not going like, to be the lady station. you were able to steal a thong from. Well, like, no, she was wearing. But it, no, 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 it Wags could be her, though. It could be her, because we have. She was too busy chasing you. Thong. But she Hail just showed up in this she, ritzy party with a if, thong in her hand. Like, look what I got, if, guys. If somebody, if somebody stole your thong with a sapphire in it, you would be pretty mad, right? Yeah, but why yeah, would I bring you, it to this place well, if I wasn't why wearing it? Why would I have a thong with a sapphire in it? Jesse, we all know you're into some weird things. 
It's not weird if every Tuesday night you just want to go down to the local bar with a fancy dress and insist that everyone call you Mrs. Robinson. See, is the sapphire on the front or the back? Goes in. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I don't know. We, we should ask her. Does Ask Mary about her thumb. <laughs> My alibi was stabbing the captain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mary's Me? very good at this. Hey. Very funny. So, so Mary, so, something I'm going to point out that phone. I actually Just find Did that go on the front good. or the back? <laughs> I find cool about this game is that uh, we have played this scenario once before. Uh, as a practice run, and we played the same character, but the story this time is actually different. So there is yes. replayability. I was worried that the scenario would be the same every time. Last time we what had this, have, uh, I had a calendar, that me. Where were we? The captain was a drunk and, and we kept our eyes on Alex and not Mary. Although now that uh, now that we see what we can get less than just watching somebody sunbathe, that, we, that there are thongs I have a trousers. Bathe, Mary locking Dunla in her closet is an, is actually feasible. As is Alex. Uh, I'm not way. afraid to use it. Yeah. Linda, where were you last night? Oh, snap. The accusations are coming. Well, she oh, was stabbing the captain, didn't you listen? Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Matt. Keep a straight face. Right. <laughs> Ingmar sounds so dramatic. Oh. I see He's like, oh, that's right. Scanadavians are serious so. people, though. She's escaping. <laughs> well, she's not of the right hair. So she can walk away. That's what she wants to do. Also, I find yes. it kind of odd that you were uh, keeping your eye on Harry and not the famous tennis player who was on board. I don't think you're a very good paparazzi, Matt. Or the Russian oligarch son. She's country in poverty. She's the first officer. The, the stern first officer in the Bella Sun now. Yeah, who's apparently so hapless you were able to steal a thong she was presumably wearing and then throw it into the ocean. I don't think we can presume she was wearing it. She just showed up with it in her pocket. Well, I mean, it's a boat. Yeah, it's a boat. You have could have stuck, she snuck into her room. Well, is it her boat? No, no she's, she's the captain. Oh, the first oh, officer. Yeah. First officer. No, sorry, captain's the captain's dead. dead. Yes. <laughs> what I miss? She's the first officer. Because I am not a human. The most. We should go talk to Logbook. That's oh, he should. He's my favorite character. Person. So who else doesn't dad. have light hair, or who else does I have light hair, I should say? But I am neither light hair nor a woman. Um, it's Ingmar and Mary. Uh, sorry, Ingmar and Mary. Oh, okay, I see. Waxler. Nor did I meet the captain. The hair so from we, the crime scene of the Mary from, from no, Ingmar and Mary. Right? I think that's what that means. Or, or, okay. I think yeah, it I has to be Ingmar. I suppose she was busy chasing us for her undergarments. Yes. Well, I'm innocent. How do you know it was fake? You guess. So, we've been shown that a captain's calendar saying that the captain was supposed to meet with Ingmar and Linda, which I am Linda. Mary, uh, but that's where were you last evening. night? Not... Oh, wait, hold on. So, did the murder happen? How recently has this murder happened? Look at the little murder queue. Or I am the murderer who boiled up I my rage and sequel the depression uh, into a nip. give you a time scale. Hmm, interesting. I'm just gonna start showing everybody my hair. Well, the hair. <laughs> I was chasing Linda. Because of the thong, we know already. Dang, Matt, get defensive. After my luxurious diamonds and sapphires. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I so I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm reasonably just sure sapphires. it was spelled the same they way in the thing, but sapphires. isn't that the incorrect way to spell sapphire? Hey, I have a Aren't joke. there two P's in it? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. There were diamonds as well. Uh, yeah, look, it's spelled incorrectly then. Want to hear it? No. So you know what this boat is really lacking? A bartender. That's the bar. Oh, maybe... Maybe the captain yes. was the bartender. 
Knock, knock. There is a character who's the bartender. He's just not here. He is very, very no. into his vodka. I mean, I get it. He's Russian, but... <laughs> oh. I'm ready to fucking party now. Can I give somebody my pen? I think it's so I can't win this game. Uh, I kind of like... Your vodka is merely wolf milk. ...better than this one because, uh, they have, like, each character has an independent goal alongside of having, like, some nefarious purpose. Um... Point out this fish tank. No fish. What's the point of this fish tank? Here? It's a water tank. Like, yeah. F but, fish but... weren't in the budget, Matt. Okay. But, but what if, I mean, there's these glorious animations. How could fish not be in the budget? Maybe the motive for killing the captain was to throw the fish overboard. Maybe it's a clue. <laughs> the drunk Perhaps fish. they. Stop. Perhaps they spent the fish budget on crime scene chalk. Yeah, why is there crime scene shock on a yacht? Good evening, my book. <laughs> Who brought that? <laughs> they were prepared. <laughs> Your wood is so hard right now. Oh my. Are, are, are you talking to the cabinet? No, no, no the log talking book. to the logbook. Talking to the logbook. Don't disgrace it. it it's yeah. on the cabinet. So, Don't so, touch the uh, logbook. I mean, it's we're Ingmar. Sure Ingmar yeah. did. Right? Yeah, okay. I'm glad we're all in on that. Yeah. Seems appropriate to me. Wait, did I win? Uh... We win? Uh, I guess, uh... Wow. So I guess if everybody casts their vote, the game ends immediately. Cool. <laughs> he got screwed. <laughs> that was a short game. Yeah. It seemed like the evidence was just, uh... Everything, everything kind of stacked up again. They're stacked on Mary's side. Yeah. Immediately. So, is there a set number of scenarios that it can draw from, or is it kind of? So, uh, if you go to the front, you can see here. Yeah, there are these three or four. There's, there's four in total. There's yeah. actually there's three in total. Father and son, uh, the sea of fire, and then there's and so, the river. Uh, every week it switches between the three. Or is there? Anyway, you 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 can be a premium player and uh get to use these at any time the other two the issue is that there aren't it's not popular enough that they seem to ever have players waiting the only one that you can really get into is the yeah you can get into the free one um unless you have a group of like people that you want to play the game with you probably aren't going to be able to get into a premium room can you play it enough though that like you just kind of know who did what it like... changes Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's it all seems random. to change because, yeah, even if you're given the same like the same information twice, it could be somebody. You know, it could have been Mary that time around, even if we had been given the same information. Okay. Well, I guess the thong thing would be different. But... Yeah, it's uh, and yeah, I don't know. It's more just about like the people in the game than anything else than like the actual scenarios. I'd certainly, like, I'd yeah. certainly like to try out the other two or either of the other scenarios. This one seems a bit uh, bland, and I just launched it. <laughs> yes, you did. The tutorial. Well, let's awful. see what that's like. <laughs> yes, the tutorial is pretty it's great. It's thrilling. More legs. Go we go to crotch waist. waist. Yeah, they're, they're all about the legs yeah. in this game. They just like the pans. What do you guys? Why do you have a problem with but that? Here is it. the tutorial. You get a passport telling you some things. You got this dude over here. You can't talk to that guy, which hands. annoys me. Nope. That's because he's made a card. <laughs> talk to this girl. No, but you get to talk to this. But you can well. talk to this one. Oh, okay. Talk, talking cardboard. Yeah, maybe the it's guy is related to Logbook. Perhaps they were both made from the same tree. No, she. Hello. She's Mrs. probably Pompoc. related to Logbook. You can actually have a conversation with Logbook, but him. Right, but he's not. He was he made is, from the wrong tree. Yeah. Some some he inferior is cut from tree. A different cloth. <laughs> she looks really disappointed in you for some reason. Well, that's because she's your guide, uh, and that's how guides are. You're just failing her constantly. Yep. And uh, to end the tutorial, you actually have to walk off the stage. So I spent like five minutes trying to go this way. You don't. You go this way. Well, it does still have the green light, but all right. <laughs> I, uh, I think, you know, something they're trying to do with this game, and I don't know how successful it will be on account of it's the internet, um, but they're kind of trying to create like a uh, like an improv acting sort of scenario. You know, like they have the tutorial as a stage and you exit the stage on stage left, and then, you know, they have the long pans on the character to be like, here's who you are, prepare to get in character. 
Yeah, it's definitely like so, an improv thing, and it really just depends, like, each game just depends so heavily on the other people in it. Sometimes they're awful. A lot of... The first game, the yeah. first game, the first game we tried we had somebody just leave the game up and up, and up like, yeah. five minutes in, which made it very kind of unpleasing or, or, or you know, Yeah, people going to AFK is a real problem. An and then also I've the run into people, like, not playing their character, which is also kind of annoying when they're just, like, talking about it as a video game. Like, it's just not, it's just not fun at that point. It, the fourth wall is not even put up. It seems like um, there's there's kind of two ways to have fun with this game. Like if there's lots of people goofing around and just having fun with it, then that can be kind of entertaining, yeah. just because people on the internet are weird. Um, or if there's lots of people taking it seriously, but if there's a mix, it kind of doesn't work for either party. I, don't know. I think that uh, it you always like it always works when you're like goofing around. You just have to goof around like sort of in character a bit more. Like you can't just say, all right, well. This is a game, and I have these pieces of evidence or whatever. Like that's not fun. I think, uh, I think what makes yeah. it fun is sort of the weirdness of the whole thing. Which I feel like you don't really get to interact with in the murder scenario nearly as much as you. Yeah, would not as much as the goal. other ones. If the goal is just to find out how to do it, it, it definitely you know simpler. There's a guy who's trying to open yeah. up a nightclub in one of them, and he's trying to sell you on his nightclub. There's a person who's trying to adopt, like, get you to adopt a child from Africa, and so they just pester you about adopting children, which is pretty great. They, like, get you to sign a contract. How much is it? <laughs> it's free. I don't think you purchase children. From Africa? Uh, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you understand anywhere. the concept of parenting here, Phoebus.